Hi everybody, it's Judy here at River City Sewing bringing you this week's video news. Well, this week at the store is Christmas in July, so it's gonna be a great day tomorrow. Um, loving to have you all back in. Many of you have booked in, which is great. We have some great numbers coming in tomorrow. If you haven't booked in, you've got pretty, you gotta book, book yourself in pretty quickly um, because I am catering with morning tea tomorrow, sandwiches, cake, all that kind of fun stuff and some Christmassy theme items. So you need to make sure that you book in as quickly as possible. All right, so you don't miss out. The big announcement today, which I've got for you, is how we do our machine repairs and bookings. Now we've changed this a little bit for you so that you don't need to be without your machine while you have a service time slot. Now I know that many of you were asking for a long time about the service slots and we've finally nutted out a way and we're putting this up um, online today, we've already done that, so that you can go in and book your machines in uh, with a time slot and then that day that you have chosen you can book, um, bring your machines in and they would be here for a few days while they get serviced. Um, that really depends on the work that's needed for your machine with how long that's going to be maybe you know average is around two to three days it could be a little bit longer so it cuts down the service time. Now we're not taking in any more bookings for machines just off the counter at the moment uh, because we do not have any capacity left in the warehouse to put them all right so i'd suggest if you're thinking to bring your machine in why not have a look at the booking page and i'm going to show you how to do that on the website which is why i'm back in the studio here again so i'm just going to change screens all right so on the website you'll see everything as is normal um, as we go down if you go down the website you have this new thing that's come up here this morning where it talks about machine repairs and service. Now, this works similarly to our class booking, but it, this calendar is just for machine repairs. So you can click on it here on the picture. And my computer's a little bit slow and my internet's a bit slow today. So basically what you see is you'll see something that looks a little bit like that. Okay, machine service, River City Sewing, you might not see this stuff here at the top, but you will see this information here. Okay, so down here we have basically all of the information on this side. And these are the dates. So we're starting from September the 2nd because that's going to be probably the first opportunity. Uh, if you brought your machine into the store right now, that would be the, the um, wait time for the machine to be looked at. So basically all you do is pick a date. So in this particular case, if I wanted Monday the 9th of September, click on it. And it will tell me down here, I could go through and have a look at all the information here about what happens before, when it, what, you're going to get a reminder, all those kinds of things. But down here, you can select what machine you have. So if you have a sewing machine, an overlocker or a cover stitch machine, you select one time slot there. And if you have a, an embroidery machine, a sewing and embroidery machine or an embroidery machine um, a standalone embroidery machine you would select this one all right so each day we have a limit so that we can regulate how many come in at this particular point as we trial this so if I've got a sewing machine you use this one if you have an embroidery machine of any type you would use this one okay if you have two machines um, with sewing and embroidery, I'm only allowing one a day because at the moment, because, you know, just for the build up of machines that we have. So you can select. If you have a sewing machine, you select one. Select that one there. But if you've got an embroidery machine, you can select one there. All right. So every machine needs a separate ticket. All right. So in the case, if I have an overlocker and a sewing machine, I would press the select button and select two okay two tickets and then you go through the booking process if any of you've been on the website for 
uh, the classes, it works the same, only this time there are here, there is basically we're just booking a time slot. We're not paying for the, the repair at this particular point. We're just booking a time. So then all you need to do is book now and we'll go through and you will be asked to put your email address in, um, email address, the um, your name address. I'm going to put mine in here just so that you can see. Just put the shop one. Okay, continue. So the page you're generally going to see is this one. So you're going to be putting in your full, your details, first name, last name. Put, please put your address in. Please put your uh, mobile phone number in here, your email, and the type of your machine. And can you just jot down anything in here? that your machine has issues with, all right? Now, this is not your booking for, this is, we'll need to put this information in um, when you come into the store. This is just a heads up, okay? So in that particular case, you would put just your information in here, okay? So two machines, put both, all that information in. Um, put someone new, you can put your first name, last name, email address, all those kinds of things. If you have any problem, just put one in um, and do one machine at a time, okay? So they're little things that we're ironing out. So then you would go through and book, all right? So in here, for example, I'd be putting my name, oh, better spell it properly, my address, my address. Okay, and then my phone number. Now make sure that's your mobile number. Okay, I'll let you put that in there. The email address, because this is the one that you'll be contacted on. Uh, the machine brand, blah, blah, blah. And then list anything, all right? So make sure that all that goes in so that we know. And then you would just, once you're finished, press continue and that'll be booked. Simple as, right? So this will help you keep running and keep sewing while you're booked a time slot. So all of our repairs are gonna go through like that at the moment. So if you bring it in, we're gonna give you the option, um, you know, take your machine home, book it in online and bring it back to us. Like I said, we do not have any more. Um, at the moment, we have, have so many machines um, in for service that we just can't store them. So if you would like, the best thing you can do is book it in keep sewing, keep having fun with your machine. And when it comes to the booking, um, when your booking comes up, you'll get a reminder a couple of days beforehand to bring it in. You must bring it in on the day that you booked it in. Okay, so if I'd selected, I'm just gonna go back. If I'd selected whatever day that was, the 9th of September, that's the day you bring it in. Don't bring it in before. Bring it in on that day. So that way, um, you know, we're not holding on to the machine, you know, week out or whatever. Please, just that, that will just help with the, the bedding in of this process. All right. So hopefully, it is very exciting for us and it's very, hopefully it's very exciting for you all that you can pre-book ahead when you know that you want your machine serviced and it will be turned around within a few days. So um, for all of you who have machines in right now, um, that's why we have put in the booking page to go back to start in the beginning of September because there is a line of you who, um, you know, Dylan's working on them now um, and he'll work his way through and, and you'll get messages once they're done. So thank you for your patience. This has taken us a little bit to try and perfect how to do this booking service. Um, this is not a same day service. So just remember, this booking service is not a same day service. It's just booking a time slot the same way you could book your car in for a service or any other thing like that. So um, you just book a time, the day that suits. And we are said, you know, you can bring it in anytime during the day. We've put 10 to 11, just as we have to have a time in there. But um, if you, if possible, bring it in as early as you can on that day um, that you're booked, okay? So um, hopefully, 
this will work out. Everyone will be happy because you know what um, you can, like I said, you can keep sewing and you're not being without your machine for quite a while, okay? Same day service, we're basically trying not to do those at the moment till we catch up um, with a lot of the repairs. As you can appreciate, there's a um, lot, you know, with the stores closing and uh, very limited of um, places where you can get repairs, we're getting more and more of them. Hopefully this will save, this will um, regulate how many we have and keep that fast turnaround once you've dropped your machine in. So if you've got any questions, you just ring the store. But for now, if you are thinking of bringing a machine in for service, and if you do bring a machine in for service, we will be saying to you that the first available appointment will be in September. It sounds like a long way away, but we're really at the end of July, so it's only about five weeks. But that's, that's how many machines um, that we have ahead of you. So th take advantage of the booking system. Um, you know, you'll know exactly what day to bring it in and all those kinds of things. So like I said, if you have any concerns um, or you you know get started we've had a few bookings already this morning which has been amazing so as it's gone up so please uh, take advantage of that we do have dates only till i think it's the first or second week of december okay because then our school machines come in and we have to make time for those so um, there's a lot of dates during the week we've got monday to thursday every week from the 1st or 2nd of September, any day that's not a public holiday, um, has a date right up until the beginning of December. So you've got lots of choices in that booking page to book a time that suits. Now we are looking at a couple of days for the for, um, Saturday drop-offs. They will go up um, once I've sort of worked out exactly how many days. There'll only be a few of those in the sequence um, as well. So. If we book it ahead um, further and further enough, you know, in time, that will be a convenience for those of you who can't get into the store during the week. All right, so let's see how that runs and hopefully you'll all um, take advantage of that. So for the rest of the week this week, we have, um, you know, the, the uh, Christmas in July sort of taken over so if you've got any uh, queries about what's happening, um, just go to the booking page. It's um, just there, there's events coming up. I know Jane's class needs some more people. If you are looking at quilting with rulers, you really need to have a look at Jane's class. And maybe if I go into there, you might be able to have a look. So let me bring up the booking page. So let's see. Okay, so those of you not quite sure how to get there, classes. And basically from here, you can see that we've got um, um, our Christmas in July, still some spots there. Saturday stitch out, it's going to start a little bit early. I've only got one booking in there. If you haven't booked in already, you may be too late for that class this weekend. I have, um, I've brought it forward to 8.30 um, start because I have to finish around about the uh, 11.30, 12, because I have to get to the airport to get to Melbourne for Quilling with Confidence next week. Um, Monday morning is only two spots left. Monday afternoon, three spots left. And then we've got Thursday evening with Ali. Still some spots in there. And um, basically, dressmaking Friday, um, if there's no, if I don't get three in that one, I'll be um, cancelling that one this week. Okay, I'll be cancelling that one in the next couple of days. Um, so, pretty much, next week sees Cooling with Confidence um, start in Melbourne. So, for all those people who have booked in for Cooling with Confidence, those of you who are, um, need some help with your computers, you, I will be talking to you today. Um, those of you who are coming and doing the hand-guided um, classes, it's going to be great. Now, the um, teachers that are coming are amazing. They are flying in a couple of days early to acclimatise and you are going to have such a fun time with 
our teachers coming in. So um, look forward to coming to Melbourne and seeing everybody. I'm just gonna, we'll just miss the Craft and Quilt Fair this week. Um, that'll be finishing on Saturday. Um, but don't forget, talking about show specials, all the show specials are still on. The July quilting specials are still on. A lot of people have been going through and getting those Janome Skyline specials and please, it, take advantage of it. It's, we've only got a few days to go. It's 31st of July they finish. So the Bernina Quilting Month, so the 570, 475, the Q20s, um, all those are um, still available. So have a look online uh, for that. And there's a lot going out in our social media about that at the moment. Um, there's show specials still on the Baby Lock. Um, that's going to go through till the 11th of August because the Perth show is actually on as well after that. So they've ex they have extended out to the 11th of August. Um, so this is the week if you are look, been looking for a Husqvarna or Faf for a show special, if you've been looking for a handy quilter for a special and a lot of people have been taking advantage of the Simply 16 and the Sweet 16 um, super offer, um, don't wait too long. They're not going to last um, around that sort of pricing. So if you've been thinking about it, jump in. So um, lots of sales on lots of things. Hopefully next week I can bring you lots of information um, from Melbourne. I'll be doing my uh, newsletter from Melbourne as they the Quilting with Confidence crew do their classes. So I'll give you a look around. So that's all I've got. Sorry about the croaky throat, but uh, hopefully um, tomorrow it will, all will be great. I mean, um, I'm not contagious. I'm not doing anything like that. So everything will be great. You might just get a bit more of my gravelly voice at the Christmas party. For those of you who are coming to Christmas party, Secret Santa is optional but it's a lot of fun and I've got lots of fun things for you food wise so please come on in enjoy if you've got some show and tell please bring your show and tell this is um, fun um, you can inspire everyone else as well as all of us when you, you bring your show and tell so I've got our crew here to help you tomorrow at the store um, no classes tomorrow so don't forget those people who are looking at Ali's class it's been uh, not all of you have been sorted but Ali will be here with us um, at, um, cool, uh, I was about to say Cooling with Confidence. Uh, we'll be here for our Christmas party, along with Debbie and Cheryl and, and myself. So we're all here um, to guide you through. Don't forget, um, doors open around about the, um, we're going to open up about 10.30 and get started with food and enjoyment and um, hopefully we'll have a bit of fun. Um, Christmas shirts, optional, but fun. Um, Secret Santa, like I said, optional but fun. Um, and, you know, bring your happy smiles and, you know, have fun with our Christmas in July um, celebration. So from Judy and all the team, thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you in store really, really soon. So until then, until I cross from Melbourne, bye for now.